Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land and here we are still in May and uh, we got some work to do let's turn those markers off first of all so yeah we got some work to do we've got a worker currently going doing the mowing and what we're going to do is make some hay and silage so I think if we have a look at our productions we need both Actually, let's look, see what we've got in storage actually first of all, so head down, silage and hay, yeah we need both, so what I'm going to try to do is sort of devise off doing a bit of a split between the two. Actually no, we've got enough TMR for now, so actually if we say this first cut is hay, and then when we do our next cut in July, yeah, I think that'd be better actually. Yeah, if we do our next cut in July, that'd be silage. And then we could do another cut of silage in September, perhaps. And do hay in November. Actually, since we are. Oops. I'm going to lock the mirror out of the way. We'll get the winner on so we can actually do two in the rows at a time. See so yeah, the worker can't do the fast farming, unfortunately. Kinda sucks, but here's what it is with that. So what we need to do is grab the wind rower. Because the plan for today is really expand our chicken and sheep. We're gonna have by the end of this episode. 5,000 chickens and at least double our sheep. So, what my thinking is, head over here. We get rid of these chicken pens, we'll put a new sheep pen here. Same one as that one, at least double our sheep. And then if we go to chickens, or is it to this one here? We can place the chicken coop. That can hold 5,000 chickens. And actually, I'm thinking more rather than placing it like along that ways, we could place it here perhaps. So, you know what? Heck yeah, no, this is all cotton. But I say, place that there. Then we'll just go to landscaping, go to paint, let's select dirt, and it's just simply so go along here. And not sure how much is going to be expensive wise, pretty sure it's going to be pretty expensive. But yeah, the reason why I'm also setting this out here, the ground texture is set that difference between the fields and that. Because that's the only one is harvest a cotton or another crop in the future and yeah, pretty much be basically boxed in. So go up there, there we go. And I am pretty happy with that. So whilst workers still doing that, we've got a little bit of time still. Map's going to update, there we go. And just for the moment, if we turn our markers back on, so Fee goes in there. That's good. And I guess our eggs spawn there. Also what I've gone and done is enable the large pallet capacity mod. So I removed this ball pallets, so things like when we get our flour and all that, they're going to be normal size. However, the large pallet capacity, let's open this, look at that size, it's five times the size, so this should help us with our pallet issues. And I'll say... Ah, 
have 750 chickies. There we go. 30 of those. And this is going to be pretty expensive to do, I know, but I think overall it's going to actually be worth it, so... I don't want to fill this up to the max because I want these chickens to breed. So yeah, what I'm going to do is let me just fill this up a sec and then we'll come back in a moment. And there we go, so along with our 1600 chickens as we got there. What I'm going to do is, once they've run out of food, I will sell them. And then as we head up here, we've got almost 3,000 adult chickens and, let's say 3,000 chickens and 1,200 little chickies. So they can breed and grow. So I'll just raise chickens and then sell them. Because look at our age, I'm almost at 36 months, so I think that's going to be the cutoff. We did buy some food here for 37,500 litres. I think I left a couple of pallets in there as well by accident, so we can deal with that in a moment. But yeah, for the first year, we're going to have to be buying a lot of chicken food in. I may have actually gone over the cell point there slightly. No worries, so we'll just cut across here. Because, yes, do we have. Oh, yeah, we've got plenty of wheat in, in these two fields here. Got our sunflower field here. Really, we should plant something in that field. Maybe sorghum in that field. Just put sorghum in there just for now it's something and sorghum can be used as chicken feed as well around how she's in the field going empty usage but yeah we'll deal with that later on Hopefully these new pallets actually come out. What they do. to worry and actually their food is filled up how much that lasts I do not know even though there is a pallet in there it's not let me feel it so dang it alright let's get rid of that pallet first of all Go, come on, tip. There we go. Yeah, no idea how much they consume per hour. I actually, could find out. So, fast forward to six o'clock. They consume eight hundred and seventy-five liter. So. Let me get my calculator up here for a sec. So, 875 per hour times that by 24. That's 21,000 litres of grain they consume per month. So, actually, what? Not too bad. And as we rambling on, workers doing a good job of mowing so yeah we'll get this done and then we'll put this all into the fermenter I think oh no no actually uh, what is it productions I 
And that was it, grass and hay signage. So... That's it, I want to do that. And then if I go all the way back up... Dairy, we need to put milk in there, we'll deal with that. In a moment. They need eggs, shouldn't sell those eggs, but well... They're grass dry hay, so... If I say, set that to distribution. Worst case scenario, if you need hay for the short term, for a month, for the cows, well, for the cows, um, for the sheep and that, then we will, until we get our next cut. And dang it, I forgot to turn the damn thing on. <laughs> turn one on, but not both, so yeah. Anyways, I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks in a few moments. Go. So, actually, we're not even done with all this grass work. That's because I forgot we purchased these four plots of land. So, what I've done was I to, to mow them. So, if we find get our supercharged out. So, have a look here. So, everything's been mowed and that. Not everything's been quite picked up. So, Got all the 39 modes. Uh, see the grass is starting to grow again. Oh no, wait a minute, that has to be mode right. I don't think so. No, actually, by the looks of it. Alright, that's one plot I forgot. I mean, it's 39 hours. Oh, it is. Must have actually bought that because I didn't think we bought that plot, but. Anywho, squeeze in between the trees. So yeah, first here you've got mode. As we head up here, along with 28, 
just a little bit left over there. And then got all the 27 mode, so all in all that got us a lot of grass, that's for sure. So we have a look at our productions. So go across, be doing But yeah, if we go up, so yeah, we've got one and a half million litres of silage. So I think that's enough silage for now. But what we do need now is hay and straw. Obviously, the straw that was in here, we use that for silage. May slight regret on that, but not a problem. We need to get straw. I think actually, do I have, yeah I do, I've got these bells installed so, I think you know what, we'll just buy a bunch of bells. There we go, that's a bunch of bells there, Paul. So that's the short situation, sorry, I want to just go bang 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 and oof, 165 grand. Ouch, that hurts. But yeah, we'll make all of our money back now. So what we need to do is, not the mower, when the mower's done. Oh boy, that's a lot of bells. That needs sorting. Perhaps just get the auto load trailer out and whack those on. Okay, water and air is done. But yeah, it was like the money's slightly different or was different. It was just a bunch of water and that for the distribution, and we did got some money in for the water and that as a replacement to cover the costs of it. Because obviously, the issue has been charged with the water. So we've got a bit of a rebate on that, so that's why that is that. But yeah, this does take a long process to do. Also, we've been cutting down some trees as well on those fields there we bought. Not 39, I didn't think we bought 39. That's why I didn't mow it. Well, let's sell that plot for now. If we need it later on, we'll buy it, but... For now, it's not a worry, and obviously what we need to do at some point is convert those four plots here into fields. Oh no, no, actually, or maybe I have bought that plot actually, by the looks of it. Anyways, well heck, it will still keep it. But yeah, it is a tentative process. We did try a few little tricks with like the forest pickup and that. But whilst we were doing two and a half rows at a time, at that more than hour, we was only doing one row at 15, 16 miles an hour, so... I think the solution would be to make bells in that. Like grass bells. We could put them into a... Shred them. And then just get the grass out and put it into the dryers. I think actually that would be a quicker option, but fortunately with the quick bell is there's no option for not to do silage. That really bugs me a lot. Unless we get like the pack of wind rower and bells. So yeah, we can get that, all that good stuff. But it does silage bells, we don't want to do silage, that's the thing. Maybe just get, I don't know, one, one of these in. You know, just get a wind on the front, beta on the back. Because what's the beta speeds? 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 miles an hour, so... Of course we're doing this at 11 miles an hour, I think that's because of the wind rower. Yeah, the wind rower unfortunately can do 11 miles an hour, so... 
Unless we find a different one. But again, that's the whole debate of what do you go for in terms of equipment wise. You know what? Heck, let's try a sec. Let's give it a shot. I know we talked about maybe with the sheeps and that, but I don't think the dunes. No, so well, well, that one's almost gone. Well, maybe the next episode we will have sheeps. Almost got 10,000 litres of eggs, that is nice. But yeah, so we say, heck yeah, let's go with one of these baiters. Do, 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 which one? I think, heck, let's go with one of the capacity ones. Go with the case. Either a fast bail. Or... Uh, you know what, heck, let's, let's go with square bells. Oops, oh, that's a problem. Bear with me a sec whilst I figure out a solution. That's the bell sorted, so we'll have a look at that in a sec. So, no, it needs to go the other way around. Oh well, we'll just nip across here. And where I've noticed my mistake with place stand BGA, yeah, these pipes are not meant to be there like that. Oh well. Well, yes, yeah, so from this, we will go and get hay from it. So, we're going to do more size for now. Wrong one. We need to go over here. Bingo. So go over there. Just to double check. TMR will turn off for now. Because we'll deal with that later on. Saying that. Oh, we didn't need to stroll. We can do hay and... Uh, Oh well, we'll just do that. Wait, that recipe is nice because it's less straw, but of course mineral feed. And we get that from lime or stone, well limestone or stones, which we're not going to do, and soybeans. So yeah, no more silage work is needed. Let's double check we've got wheat, corn and all that good stuff. So we can start making some more oil. Can we from this one? Nope. Just make more seeds, fair enough. Sorghum. Ask for pig food. Actually, wait a minute. Stop those. Got potatoes in there as well. The only thing we need is what so actually what have look so we've got wheat that's barley it needs for those ones that one can work make some pig food heck it why not get extra money from that there we go and for this one yeah it's like the distribution is not ideal but And look at that, we're getting tons of clothes from here, so... And that's just from... D -d 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 yeah, something from cotton, that is. Actually, I actually want to compare the clothes production a sec. It's actually... I just whacked it down and I thought, eh, that'll do, so... In theory... Well, just from war alone, that gets... Free... 1200 4200 a month. I swear the clothing factory is harder than that. Oh, I wish uh, there was a drop cut menu on these. There we go. Wool. Oh no, we're getting more clothes from the factory, so. Prioritize the clothing factory to get more clothes than that. And how is this production going? the entrance oh, right here so 
still a little bit short left, still processing that into manure. And that's how we're getting our money. Well, what money actually we've we'll been spending, but at the end of it, it will work out well, so. And oh, we've got our maple syrup pancakes. Delicious. There we go, sell those. When is it a good time to sell the pancakes? I know we've just been focusing on productions and that. Not she farm EMR is technically for the cows now, so best time to sell is if we sell now, okay. If not, wait till uh, next year or end of the year or next year. Actually in March next year. Hey when I have to tab around when it does it enter views, but But yeah, I think actually with the productions, we're going to may scale back with what we do, which is let things run and get the money from that, because yeah, for managers and productions, is tiresome, so they may as well grab our beater that we've got on these, and all we've done is just push the bells back with the combine. So there we go. That'll that done with and we we'll head to the field. So there we go, we'll get everything lined up. And we interested to see how much we can get from these, so I think you know what heckish to do the biggest bells we can, so for nine times the size. So is that turned on? Is that turned on? Obviously, we're going to get any extra grass, you know, from the additive. And you know what? I can live with that. That is not an issue for me. And for what size are these bells going to be? Like 60,000 litre bells? You know what? I'm not complaining about that at all. So, we'll get this all done. And I'll see you folks once we're done. And there we go, we decided to cut that short because the beta wasn't really working out for us, so just having a look here, so compare these two, we will be behind with TMR production, just because we get 3,000 litres per cycle, compared to 6,000 litres per cycle needed for the TMR, but you know what, I got no issues with that. And also we'll whack that on because we've got some hay in, not hay, uh, straw. So yeah, 275 at the moment. And we'll just use this one here. I know you've got the flatbed ones we can use. Confirm back over, but this was available. We actually to set this to shop. Hi, I'm saying we're trying to look for another equipment. 
But yeah, so those bells were okay, I think. Obviously, yeah, the bell sizes weren't an issue in that. 60,000 years of bell. It was just going around doing it pick up and out, I was having so many issues with it. And I was just like, you know what? Okay, let's give it up. And I think if it's going in a straight line, the beta would be fine. But it's missing so many bits from where, or well, how we've done it. Of going slightly curved and that. And perhaps a bit rough and bumpy and that with the mower and that, because we was fast farming, I think, that bit. So, yeah, farming that, well, farming, but you'll get some deviations here and there in your lines. That's what I think that caused it. Oh, you know, it's caused us, like, miss it, bits here and there, even when it's going straight line. It just seemed like every so often we was getting like, little, sh like, square bass streaks coming out to sight. Well, okay. Why did that happen? I thought I had them all struck down. Did that last time and it worked out perfectly fine, so why not now? No idea. Yeah, let's get this picked up again. And grab those last two. Are they liftable bells? I doubt it. Nope. Actually, I do wonder. Are ones we just made liftable. So I don't know, was it use that did the setable bell capacities, I think? Wait, let's try again. Anyway, so we strap them. And that's the little trick is just doing that. You know, also the on. Yeah, I know it's not the most re realistic, and I know not everyone's a big fan of those. But for the amount of bells we're producing, it does make sense. But, anywho, get these unloaded. Now, let's go and try to see if we can pick up those hay bells. Or grass bells. Well, soon to be hay, and then soon to be TMR bells. Much of like the TMR bells. So actually, all right, got them on okay. There's no issues whatsoever. And yes, yeah, finally the last one, which is just over here. Oh, there, there it is. I was like, where it went to? So we'll just whack that on on top. Strap it down. So yeah, that is 300,000 litres almost of grass. And that's the thing, that's what it's the scale we're doing, like, with what I'm doing on Bay Spring, with what I'm doing on Court Farm. we better doing it on Court Farm at the moment, our bunker silo is just about 400,000 litres. From the grass fields we've done on, was it 50, not 52, 105? Of 54, like those fills just by the Court Farm main farm area. Now, like here, 400,000 400, years, barely touching it. So, like when we did the silage, yeah, it's a one to one. Okay, admit we did use some hay in that, but still, getting a lot of grass from these fields, and that's the thing. I think actually once we get this all sorted and do our next cuts now, by the end of the year we should have all the silage we need. So yeah, I'm thinking about like was it where to conclude this series. I think we'll conclude once we hit 10 million. But I do you wanna experiment with some more productions now? Part's just taking long to process, so yeah, that's gone in. We'll get hay eventually. Uh, is there anything we can plant in June? Nope, not really. Starting harvesting, so we did miss window for the other field. Oh well, it is what it is. And I think you know what? 
We'll skip to July. There we go. Obviously, the next cut of grass is going to be ready, so we'll do that in the next episode as well. Get it all cut again. There we go. So yeah, leasing costs 300 or releasing. Leash. That's why we actually left that lease out. Whoopsie. Yeah, I'll go and return that now. <laughs> so in July, does anything need harvesting? So apart from the grass. Yeah, I'll just apart from the grass field, so the wheat and all that should be ready soon. What's I remember still? In and then we can transfer it over. So yeah, almost wheat. That'll be harvesting in the next episode. I've go down to our productions. Are too many pallets? Why is that? I guess in some of it is like the honey in it. Makes sense. So I thought we weren't having to make ah wait a minute on the white. Yep, yeah, those those need to be moved. Eggs needs to be moved as well. Wool needs to be moved. I was thinking of skipping a month, completely ignoring a lot of our productions, but that's why I'm have to send attempt to set a lot of this to sell now. Actually, anything in the use market is interest to us? Uh, no, not really. Grain cart, maybe. But, uh, what was it I'm looking for? If I go under mods, there's a couple of the vans. I think you know what? Fillable pallet packs wool, what's the difference? I got no idea. Guess him fillable tanks is like the liquids. Actually what? I'm not gonna go with those ones. The one I'll go for is under the do pallet, 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 where is that to? Just looking at something there. Pallet storage, that's it. 50,000 litres for these. Or 15 for that. Actually, bear with me a sec. So, got the little tree bits. Obviously, with the unrealistic million litre capacity. How good as it at loading? Seems to be alright. That's the thing as well, it's just like the range as well of where it will pick up. No, nope, not like that. It'll just go straight. I think this will be a solution for us. Whether or not it can do multiple pallets, I don't know. I'm scared off. It was when we try to fill other products up, it would just automatically consume it. So, very again, another few moments whilst I'm sort of going, I do a bit of experimenting with this because I am curious. Yeah, this was the problem I was thinking gonna have. Yeah, no, there's too many pallets. That's what I want to do. I want to take these pallets, but unless I like flip them up and they're suddenly it doesn't seem to want to go in. L3, nothing. Didn't expect that, but the door's closed. Why don't you just bloody work? I 
swear I was using like similar ones. Like, I think I was using this very one. Oh, what's it? Silver Run Forest. Alright, so for that to know, that's got to be on sideways. Which is not an issue if these pads were bloody damn liftable, but they're not. That's really annoying me, that is. It has to be done like that. So that one will be noted, right? No, nope, of course not. It's one that's been crushed. I've seen Giants ruined it when they made these egg pallets not, no longer liftable in a update like last year and now over this year, but. Come on! On, on, buddy, go in. Oh, no, oh, oh, screw it. Screw it all. Looks like I'm gonna have to do is get like a skid steering. Oh, at least that's pop on the spark, I'm guessing, but. I don't want to have a skid steer. It's really hard for me, that is. That bloody hell. Don't know what's wrong with it. It shouldn't be working like that. It should be. Really, it did the honey perfectly fine. And that's what happened in being testing, like, testing that mod. It was like. It's taking the shore base fine, and all of a sudden. Nope. No longer works, so. Fuck knows on that part, but I oh, do apologize on that. Well, not really apologize on the language, just it's frustrating. Like, you expect things to work out in a certain way, within reason, and it does that on you. Like, really? Fuck. I don't know. So, what does it need eggs at the moment? Does that need eggs? Yeah, they do, so we'll take them over there. Yeah, it's just. But anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave it today. So next time, oh, with the production bits, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know, and I doubt this will work loading up. So, but yeah, get the rest of the grass sorted. Yeah, if not, let's chuck him in there. So yeah, grass work to do. Also, it does. Alright, so that does work then. Fair enough. Grass work to do, and then we may skip till doing the wheat harvest. Not too sure. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed on yet, then please consider. But for she's to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this is me Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.